Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to draw the beak of a pelican, so a more streamlined beak. And we're seeing, seeing this from the side, we did this in a different video. And we're going to show the same beak from a view from the, from the front. So if you have your pencils all set, um, you'll be surprised at how sometimes the view can unveil uh, not drastic changes but yes subtle changes that you probably did not expect now this is of course this was something close to a great white pelican and which is uh, one of my favorite uh, looks of the bird so it's just I mean, like more streamlined, beautiful. And its beak is uh, not as necessarily as, as uh, thin as another pelican species. There's about eight of them as we mentioned and we'll mention that again now here when you're looking at this beak from the front there has to be well, that is the tip right there small tip there's this little curve in between it goes back and then of course we have top of the head right here, head from the sides and of course the neck like that and then there's all this plumage that will like show up on the sides and there's of course the skin patch, the eye right around there somewhere and the beak again appearing like this from the front Whereas, I mean, if you look at this, it might appear as if you know, it would have been like a thin beak and this. There are those pelicans too. But we are showing this from the front for particularly this pelican. And it has like, you know, these graceful, uh, like textured patterns on the top of its beak. Mostly if you look at it from a distance, it will appear as if like it's, it's yellow. And that's what we associate with a pelican most of the time, like we expect it to be that. But when you look closely, nature usually has its little surprises. I'm not sure if the crest at the back of the head is visible from this angle, I don't think so. We're just putting in some textures here from this angle. Of course, this particular bird is all white with nice flowing, almost like so streamlined plumage of fine white feathers that goes pretty much like all like throughout the body, like it flows just like seamlessly. So I'm sure if you look at like imagery of pelicans like online, you will see things that are somewhat like that. And of course your cross hatches can vary. But then there's another angle that we would like to cover as well for those die-hard pelican fans who might complain that you know what like this is like too flat of a beak to be a to be a pelican beak so what we can do for 
you as well is and then right beside this guy here and we'll shift this a little bit here so that we can see this more easily right, right beside here because that the side view is uh, not our focus right now we're going to now do this big this other angle as well so nice circle and that is for those diehard fans who know pelican beaks to be more slimmer from the front view and which is absolutely fine I mean they it looks like kind of like a paper opener when you when you look at these beaks from that particular angle and of course that's going onto the head there and we have the skin patch from that angle so we are showing it right from the front angle again but a more streamlined pelican beak so the eye situated somewhere here and that is the essentially a brown pelican or a black plumage pelican not the not the great white pelican that has this kind of beak there's like again those also have like their own patterns that go along those lines all right so from this particular angle again from the front now this this here's the wondrous thing here about these fascinating and amazingly streamlined birds that from now this beak is essentially this beak from the side but if you wish with just like you know very 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 little change so the cross eyes has to be in this direction because it is like as opposed to this guy here who has like a lot of texture going in like it's like that it has this like leathery look about it if you actually check out like pictures online but this guy has like you know a more uh, smoother texture to the beak like which is so essentially the cross hat should go along those lines there's some like patches of red here at the front which you could like leave alone and of course that is all left to detail but that is the sketch of the beak that is the way it is going to appear and we're just putting in some minimal cross hatch here so that this thing looks a little more alive and of course you can check out images online and as as, as i was saying and that's not like not to miss the point there's that essential pelican beak tip. This beak is also this beak from the side. So if this guy were to turn, and if he were to look that way, it would probably look somewhere along, somewhere around like that line, Some, something. Maybe a little slimmer here in terms of it's like girth, but not necessarily, pretty close to this. So that's the amazing, thing about pelican beaks so please do try it out and uh, we're going to put out more videos that feature anatomy on birds we are doing a series of beaks here and uh, uh, let's keep uh, sharing ideas so please subscribe thank you for watching